Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, No More Worlds channel. That's me. Uh, and today I'm just going to bring you Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. Now this game, I forget the name of the studio, but uh, they put out a previous sort of roguelike card game called uh, just Tainted Grail. Um, and I think this was their inevitable sort of like goal was to reach this sort of first person immersive um, first person immersive RPG. It's uh, it's pretty grim. It's pretty dark. Some might say grim dark. Um, and it tells the story of a sort of Avalon, which is the mythical lands in, you know, great British mythology, King Arthur, uh, the death of King Arthur, the um, mixing of like Celtic uh, druidic magics. Uh, this is some sort of force known as the weird. I think this is a prequel to the card game, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, I played a bit of the intro uh, a while back when it released in early access, and it's still in early access. Um, but it is quite a bit of fun, and it looks more polished by the day. So why don't we just jump in? You can see the intro cinematic. Uh, hopefully it's loud enough. Um, here we go. Grim dark. It's very grim dark. The all consuming red death. Six hundred years ago, King Arthur led the great escape from the homelands, where our kingdoms were ravaged by the plague. Leading people to Avalon, he started the Age of Conquest and took the island from the four dwellers. Using the mysterious powers of men his, together with Merlin, they cleanse the land of the weirdness. A primordial force of chaos and possibility. But now, long after the death of the king, Camelot is in shambles as Avalon fractures into chaos. Old legends are gone, and the weirdness is creeping back into our land. The bleeding heart of the plague has started beating once more. And the Red Death has returned. Rulers of the Island Asylum, an order of the Red Priests, are desperate to stop it. By any means necessary. Rotting in one of their cells is a stranger who might bring a spark of change to this cursed island stuck in the everlasting autumn. The character creation is a little limited right now, but we'll just go through pretty quickly. Um, art style was really good for the intro cinematics. I think there's a few more cinematics. Um, characters are not too bad looking. They don't have that really plastic the uh, unity sort of look. A little shiny, but that's fine. Um, I think one of the things I liked about the original card game uh, was the amazing soundtrack, and there's a lot of that in here. I mean, it it it, it slapped. That was, yeah, it was a good one. It was um, a lot of choral, like, tribal drum beats, real pounding. Uh, I'll definitely play that at some point, but I... I played the crap out of that when it came out. So let's go through character creation. These are just presets. We'll go through female character. Be muscular. Be not be muscular. Doesn't change too, too much. Pretty dirty. Makes sense. We start off as a prisoner inside of a cell. Uh, I'd say it's a very unique opening to a fantasy game. Um, honestly, this preset character is not too bad. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, faces, I think the face is fine. What are we on, two? Go with one, maybe? All of them look very sleep deprived. Uh, one thing I do not like about this character creator is they will not stop moving. I find it, I find it very annoying, but you know, it's not too, too bad. We'll go with two, I think. We'll go with one. All right, hair-wise, I actually quite like the uh, 
tribal side cut sort of faux hawk thing going on, but what do we get? A little ponytail? Yeah. Look like we mean business. Let's get something ooh, purple. It's on brand, but um Yeah, we'll be purple. Don't think it's happened. Can't have a beard as a female character. That's fine. There are games that allow you to, games that don't. And considering how limited this is, it's okay. Uh, and over here, we have difficulty. We'll keep it at normal. Uh, I think hard just makes me do less damage and take more damage. Easy is the opposite. Normal middle or out. Uh, and the name. Uh... Uh, boo uh, nice. No. Um, not particularly good at this. Uh, nice. It's fine. Confirm, are you sure you want to play this character? You won't be able to change. That is fine. E to accept. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. You're gonna die in here, prisoner. A Khajiit in this cell? Without me needing to repeatedly kick you in the face, eh? We could see our feet for a second and now we can't. Hello, hey. The book. First came the prophet, then there came the word. The word is sacred to the Pope, his cardinals, and his priests receive the word. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Evil religious order. Anything else in our cell? There's a pale. Ooh. Um, you know I understand the dungeon, but look, we just have to get this over and done with. Unless you want to visit from someone upstairs, and trust me, you don't. Just like before, no food until we're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves, we're going back to my tried and tested fists. So, tell me, what were you doing in the forest when the red shields caught you? So this will start our beginnings to our character, if I remember correctly. We can enlist in the army, I think it makes us more of a soldier. Hunting will make us more of a ranged build. This will make us more of a thief, you know, uh, stealing. Ancient side of worship, I think this will be magic. I don't know what Stay Silent does. Uh, we'll be we'll be mystical, I think. I've tried the thief before, although that does give us lock pick, and there's quite a few locks to pick here, um, which might be good. But there's a lot of loot in this beginning stage, if I remember correctly, and not all of it's worth it. And I have a problem when it comes to hoarding in video games. Yeah, you look like one of those half-starved druids who survived the charred conclave. We picked almost all of you up from the forest by now, so there aren't many of you crooks left out there. So. You're a tree hugger, then. Okay, so I assume this is healing magic versus combat magic, which is what I want to go to. As always. Yeah, I've never seen you people do anything but fireworks and illusions. Not much use during a real fight, as is evident from you being in here rather than out there. Okay, that was easier than I expected. Now, unfortunately, we'll have to stop... I always found it puzzling that these people won't bathe. You, I understand, you're literally rotting in this damned cell, but them, there's just no excuse for the stench. There they are, finally. I know, I know, you have a million questions forming in your head, but they'll have to wait. One of these keys will open your cell. When you get out, head left. I'll scout ahead. All right, head through the wall. My character's none too smart, but that's fine. Now let's take a look at what we have. Not much, but it does look like uh, when we took the magic focus, stop moving around so much. When we took the magic focus, that gave us a... Yes. Start with a magic attack. Last time I had to find one. So we have a key. We don't really have much. 
and we just have to fight and uh, quest character here. These are our stats, our attributes rather. Then we have skills here. I guess we can upgrade these, it's just interesting. Um, this will be great for a caster. Okay, we can look at all this stuff later. We level up. But, you know, let's actually have a weapon. That's beggar's fare. Some food. I'm going to close this because I don't like him moving around. So let's see. We can go through, take individual pieces. Uh, let's just take all. Go back to inventory. And you can actually get some armor going on. Not a huge fan of wearing their armor, but it will help us out quite a bit. Um, you know what? Just to be on brand, we're not going to use these crappy boots right now. Sorry. That's just how I roll. Unless they're really good boots. Makes us look more mystical, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and actually, what did the Ida other items we got? So, Wooden Club is the weapon we start out with. We might want to use in addition to our fire magic. And heal mana with mead. Heal health with the beggar's fare. All right, so let's go back to equipment. Switch this to here. We have an offhand and onhand weapon. I don't think I can block. I think I'll shoot if I use my ember. My hand is very sweaty. So this, heavy attack. Sprint, sheath, unsheath. It's exactly what I thought. My mana does seem to regenerate, though, which is nice. Um, we just gonna equip this real quickly so I can. Let me unequip this real quickly. There we go. Block. Just want to get rid of that. Put it back on. All right. So he said go left. We're not going to do that. Should be able to unlock all these doors with the jailer's key. Seems to be some sort of torture cell. Another commandment book. That's fine. There might be a person in here. I need a lockpick to open that, even though I do have the jailer's keys. Let's see if I can find a lockpick anywhere. No. Nope. Pale. Lockpick for that. There is anything under here? Nope. No. Okay, that's the way he wanted me to go. We're not going that way. We're going this way first. If I remember correctly, I think this is an encounter up ahead. Nope, we killed these people. That's good. So we'll take the roast and some moonshine. I assume that's for mana. This gave us a recipe. I don't think we need to take it with us. Fish stew, cups, we don't really need those. There's some lockpicks. Cook ingredients if we wanted to. I don't think we have too many raw ingredients at the moment. Thankfully, that's been tastefully censored. It seems to be some sort of, you know, enticements for the guard um if you're into that guard's key which will probably get us into that room up ahead coin you have a weapon very skyrim -y. just one lock pick so it's somewhere up here nope further down it's definitely a little bit harder than uh, Skyrim. Down more? Oh. Up more? There we go. Coins. Poison, I think. Ale. I, I really just want this coin purse. It's a cute little figure. This seems to be pornography. Um, poor guard. Just wanted to get his rocks off. I'm not going to keep looking at stuff. I'm on YouTube, I'm afraid. I'm afraid what it'll be. Nothing nothing here I can see. 
but we can go through this door very quickly. Devil snare assumes cooking ingredient jar or ale. I don't know why you would ever put ale by a fire. I don't know. Maybe people like warm beer. Uh, this is probably where he came in from, so we can't go that way. That way's clear. We can try to get into these cells. We might. This is a very easy lock. There it is. Yeah, this is a little more difficult, a little less forgiving than, say, Skyrim or Oblivion. Ramblings of a crazy person here. Dark. The dark nights are endless. Everything breathes and calls crisply. A red monk came and put fire in my chest. Crazy man. And these are the treatment records. Suffering from the Red Death. Different, uh, different things the physician or, you know, what passes for a physician at the time appeared. Probably leeches. Cutting holes in the skull. Take some of these ingredients. Potions will be useful later on. Bone meal. Squirrel have any. This does have a book. I'm afraid it's just going to be the goddamn commandments again. Got that one right away. Take a human heart, which made a glass sound. It's an empty jar. Oh, here we go. Note written in blood. If anyone finds this note, you need to run before you start your treatment, and it makes you realize you need to gnaw your own legs off. Promise that you are not sick, and even if you are, they will not cure you. Save yourself as I did. Stole a small glass jar when they weren't looking, broke it into tiny shards, and swallowed them. Soon I would be free. That sounds horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, I can think of better ways to get out of this, but that's just me. Stealth around. Anyone in here? No. Guard's key opens up this cabinet, which is wonderful. We can get all kinds of ingredients. Cabbage, wine, tons of wine. So this is where they keep prisoners' garb. This is better armor, but this is light armor. And as a mage, I feel like I should be rocking that. Gives us more of a villagery look. I mean, my goal is to not be hit. It's medium armor, yeah. Keep the medium for now. On the head, just because I don't have anything else. Take tons of ingredients. Old letter. Uh, my dear Martin, if I finally arrived in the asylum, I'm going to receive my preliminary medical examination. Father Vaughn says the symptoms point to a very early stage of the Red Death, and that I did very well to come here on my own will. He promised to do everything in his power to help me and to make sure our son, I write son, because I can feel each heartbeat that it is a him. Martin I have born, is born healthy. I know you have your doubts about me coming here, but I really am of good cheer. I will keep you up to date on my progress. I hope to see you soon. I love you and miss you forever yours. Okay, well, she's dead. It's depressing. More lock picks, which are going to be very useful because I'm going to talk up many of these. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. There it is. Coin. Probably all stuff just taken from the prisoners who've come here. Moonshine, peppermint, sage, honey. Almost got a folk song going on. Me, groats. And get a shield, which I think we might hold on to. Um, with everything. Potatoes. Seems like it. Up up here. Nope, nothing. for now. Be stealthy. Yeah, I can lock pick that. Someone is clearly here. Sneak just popped up. Anyone see him? In this door? 
Honorable Brother Sefton, I would like to remind you that I have mentioned numerous times before, namely that the Achemican station should be cleaned after each use, especially when you are so careless with caustic and toxic substances. I also recommend that you refresh your elementary knowledge with the ingredients of a healing concoction. Those are alcohol and sage, not poisonous plants and hearts. Okay, this is just telling me how to make a healing potion. It's kind of negligent. Continue as I'll be forced to ask Father Vaughn to revoke your privilege to use a laboratory. May the word of the prophet be your grace. Brother Aaron. Sage and alcohol. I don't have the laboratory key. I'm going to just check these other rooms real quickly. Let's see what we can find. So, assume these are. What? Thank you. Assume these are diagrams of what the Red Death does, or maybe Undeath. Um, autopsy reports. I drew a burr hole into left temple. I opened the skull by removing the calvaria. Then I drained the unnecessary excess fluids. Thought there was cerebral faults using Morgan's cut. I severed the nerves in the brain stem. Some normal straight swollen. If it burst from the inside, I made incision incisions into the venous sinuses and separated the putamen from the bone. The base of the skull is intact. Okay, so this is just how he stored the brains, which I imagine will take some fish oil. We can find, I just took, it's a heart. Mutation knife, that's nice. Is there a brain anywhere? I don't expect to see a brain here. Just jars. Getting really lucky with a lot of these lockpicks. I'm not skilled. All right, there's a brain. It's a heart. It's been about treatment. I've received three patients suffering from mild symptoms, threat to death. With this batch, I decided to test a new treatment derived from creatures touched by the weirdness. Um, okay, so they're doing horrible experiments. It's intriguing, but just horrible experiments. Just brains in here. I don't know how many brains I need, what they're used for crafting-wise, so I'm not going to take too, too many. I really do not need to take seeds in the other playthrough I did, just because it seems quite easy. There's a drowner tongue. Reputation knife. They're cool looking. Weirdness mutations, you can see kind of what it looks like here. The mutation changes are not significant, although they span the internal organ. And not significant, they expand the internal organs. The heart enlarged to the size of two adult fists, increased pulmonary function, etc. Among the contents of the stomach are remains of undigested human flesh, which probably belonged to the deceased. Visible bite marks on his arm, mutation area, overall an am amalgamation of human and foreseen internal organs, so pig organs, two chambered stomach with significant increased capacity and a natural tissue fusing the hooves with the body. The head joined together in the shape worse than any nightmare. Getting real poetic with your uh, science here. I did not mean to take that, but whatever. More amputation knives, more brains, that's fine. Oh. Uh, quite a bit more difficult. There we go. Stealthy. We're very stealthy. You gotta be quiet. This is absolutely horrendous. Very depressing. Mother and child. More amputation knives. Father Vaughn's notes. Uh oh, here's Catherine. We read her note earlier. Female, 22. Constitution short, skinny, seven months pregnant. Symptoms typical of her death. Pale red spots on the face, neck, and arms. Cause of death, childbirth. Exposure to weirdness might have altered the woman's psyche, anger, outbursts, melancholia. As for physical alterations, the fetus seemed to be much more affected by weirdness than the mother, as if absorbed at all. The first standard session, the fetus started to grow rapidly. After the second session, its mass had tripled, it needed to be extracted from the womb. The torso and head of the fetus were naturally overgrown, but as the limbs were weak and flabby, despite its monstrous appearance, it turned out to be of good viability. More research on subject number 38 to follow. The mother did not survive the procedure. I mean, it doesn't look like the child survived the procedure either, but that's just me. Uh, more notes. 
little bit of story lore. That's fine. So we can't get into that laboratory yet. I think we need the key. A feeling there's going to be some fighting up ahead. Got to be. I already killed them. There's a laboratory key. Oh, and robes. Yeah, that's way more mystical. Yeah, there are people down there, Red Priests. I kind of want to go through the um, laboratory before I go in there. You know what? Let's do the robes. Light armor. Nothing there for a scarf or a cape. They're both medium armor. Light armor and light armor. All right, we've got much more of a mystical thing going on. There's a red priest over here. Just looks like one. So we're going to be real stealthy. I'm on the ass. All right, then. That uh, was pretty fun. Round up records. These are all the people that have been rounded up. Slim woman. All right, we don't need the records. Is my time, brothers, I hear you cry. Woe is us. Woe is us for having escaped death. It's fine. Empty chest. Let's grab as much. History of the Asylum, we'll take that just for some lore. I do want alcohol. Here's an alchemy station. Can't grab any of these ingredients. That's just, you know, flavor. Spectral sword. Oh, I assume that's another spell. Interesting. Uh, summons a spectral sword. Base damage, 8 to 10. 10 to 14. Okay, the club is better, so we're not going to use that. I imagine that's a browner or downer or whatever it was called. Horrendous corpses everywhere. Encyclopedia of the Second Pope, and there's a secret pathway back here. Let's try the alchemy station real quickly. Just look at the crafting on that. So I can do a healing tincture. Tincture. Uh, so hold E to craft it. All right, there we go. So we have some health potions now. And we're just going to go through this little tunnel. Being very quiet the entire time. Ooh. Collecting mushrooms on the way. There are a lot of people in there. This is a secret way down. That's interesting. Now, if I remember this correctly, occasionally one or two of them will move around. And even more importantly, the AI is pretty stupid. So, they didn't see that, and also that didn't travel as far as I thought it would. Stay alert. Yeah, we got some real Skyrim going on, huh? Okay, I can't hit them through the wall. Yeah. They also don't know where I am. Which is interesting. And I can't get through here, so I wonder if they'll just give up in a second. Wait till some of my magic comes back. I have a dash. Ah, uh, it's backwards. I have a push. So, hold the net. Okay. Oh, I see. That would have given me... I... Can I... Can I... Oh my god. All right, let's see if we can get a smaller weapon and just stab them a little bit. Oh, 
but it's a little ridiculous. See if I can, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna charge through these guys. I've jammed myself in the wall. It's early access, remember that. There we go. Okay, you just had to kneel down. They clearly know I'm here. AI is uh, pretty stupid. Last time I did this, I had a bow. I just shot them through here. Gonna... Hey, boss. Oh, thank God. I can actually move through if they stand back. Can I hit them? No. They can hit me. All right, well, this is just, this is embarrassing. All right. Let's time this right. It's like a trap. Ow. All right. Kind of injured. Go to my bag. We're just going to eat some of that food we found. Um, is there a stew in here somewhere? There it is. Bigger is fair. Consume that. Gain some of my health back. We're gonna we're gonna go through the other way, and not through this silly way. We're not doing this. Stealthy. I shouldn't be stealthy. It goes poorly. Uh, it's down this way, right? And yeah, should be able to go down this staircase. Still alerted to my presence. I do like the fact that there are multiple pathways inside and they seem to make sense. Thorough chemical station. That guy's down there. Two. Are they just waiting at that other hole? One of them appears to be. Smack on the butt. Missed. We'll send you into the Did that last guy seriously? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, boing. Nothing worth it. Boing. Take the dagger. Nothing particularly worth it. Bone meal. Blood claw. This is disgusting. This door go to. It doesn't go anywhere. All right. So sneak up here. Can I stand above him and hit him in the head instead of like giving him friendly spankings? Oh. I'm prepared for this. Out of magic, that's fine. Resolve, is Resolve can be whatever it wants, buddy. Bone meal. Nothing. Cooking pot here, so we can cook some meals if we wanted to. We do have recipes for that. More recipes for different potions. Very interesting. Peppermint. Take some monster blood. Alright, let's see. What can we make? Recipes? Here we go, yeah. So we can make... This needs to go away. We can make cabbage rolls. We can make simple meal. Make mashed potatoes. 
make mashed potatoes, I think. We can make simple meal. Make some more cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls. And that's everything. Which is fine. I kind of want to see monster blood, blood blood, brain, brain, peppermint, wolfsbane. Iron Maiden. So we do have some more recipes. So we can make small mana potion, which I want. Or swift steps. Potion based on the forbidden alchemy of Viscera. Viscera. Grants haste. Well, I want mana potions, so we'll do that. No, I want... Oh, there we go. I want mana potions. I want more mana potions. All the mana potions. Can you give me mana potions? I'm gonna make a lot of mana potions. All right, now we'll take a swift step. And that was swift step, so that'll just give us the ability to run past stuff. Um, now we can just leave here through, I think, the way we came. Meet up with that guy at some point. It's probably gonna be a cave-in if I remember correctly. Is that a man? It's a dead man. That's our guy, but we're not going to talk to him just yet. I want to see what this guy has. Uh, short bow. Take that for now. Bucket. Cooking pot. We've already cooked all we could, and there's nothing over here, so that's fine. You took your sweet time, eh? Yeah. But I understand. I did too when I was leaving this place for the first time. You have to admit, the Red Priests are quite resourceful when it comes to death and dying. Oh, I don't believe this. I'm finally blessed with someone who understands the situation they're in, who doesn't ask stupid questions that can wait for a better moment. I'm told this path leads to the beach. I don't know how, but if it's true, then I'll wait there for you until dusk. Good luck. All right, now we have to find our way out of the asylum. And we'll collect mushrooms on the way out. I guess we'll just wait here. Now, if I remember this correctly, there's going to be some enemies up ahead. At some point. Uh, weird plasm. Lockpicks and hammer. There's definitely an enemy up ahead. Maybe ladders I can climb. Not particularly afraid of fighting anyone. The fire magic makes it much easier. The coins for now, just because I don't know how much weight capacity I have. There it is. Okay, we're only about 50 of what we're supposed to get to. Poor brother Jer fell into the abyss. I'm sure Kai will take care of his unfortunate soul since he died for the good of the entire order. To cross the bridge. Okay, so this is just telling us that we need to be able to cross a bridge. It's like a magic bridge. You have to touch these things. It doesn't work until we activate something else. So it's a bit of a puzzle. There's going to be some weird magic going on. This is very H.R. Giger. I kind of love it. Ah, uh, the diorama of the ancient foam forge dweller keeps nagging at me. Okay, this is very aliens. Uh, why does it look so dead? All the depictions we saw before seem to be living creatures in the skull. So similar to ours. It's almost concerning. Proof that Merlin actually couldn't have built the men here as himself. We found one buried deep down the labyrinth. All right. Take the weird plasm for now. I think we're able to get through these. We need to get through this gate. And there's a way to drop it. Gonna be a fight up ahead if I remember correctly. 
And I do. I think there's two of them, though. I want to come up the stairs, buddy. Go ahead. Oh, can you not? All right. All right, the magic is uh, it's a finicky thing, as magic should be. There really just seems to be one of them, so I think I'll... Uh, I drop down. Sound like a monster. Stealthy, we gotta remain stealthy, remember that. Be very quiet. With my glowing hand. Alright, uh, that means there's an enemy up ahead. This must be what they discovered in that note. There has to be an enemy here, but I can't see anything. I don't have my glasses on, so, um... Are there Hugar's diary? And so the question arises, is there any significance to this man here having three arms instead of four? If so, how can we learn more? How can we can examine it without further proof? Poor father Abe was brave enough to touch it with his bare hands. He disappeared and shocked everyone. It's not that he died, it's just he's not here anymore. It's like he never existed after that. Our Pope, bless his name, forbade everyone from touching it. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Environments are great in this weird sort of environment, uh, you know, weird scenery. This is pretty, it's pretty fucking awesome, to be honest. Pretty sweet. Um, hold on, that's, that's gonna annoy me. I mean, I can't say it right now. I'm not not gonna take this path. I probably remember correctly. I fell a few times doing this before. Creepy little children. Creepy little. Accusing eyes, lighthouse up ahead. This looks like a path over people's writhing bodies. I First, a man here that would explain the weirdness surrounding us. I've been here for what seems like an eternity. I feel I am getting restless. You are looking for a way out yourself. 
I think we might be able to help one another with that. I shall do something now. But trust me, the discomfort will be worth the outcome. I think I get a freeze time mechanic now. It's gonna be a fight up ahead if I remember correctly. I wonder if I should touch that sword. Parrying is one of the most useful skills in combat. It allows you to avoid all damage and greatly reduces the enemy's stamina. When the enemy's stamina is depleted, they become staggered. To block at the right time before the enemy's attack reaches you. Okay, or I can shoot them with my fire. Look, I can parry with this. This is a tutorial and I have to do it. Temporal hold allows you to slow time. Use it however you want, to attack, to escape, and so on. But remember, once it's used up, it will need to be recharged. You recharge it by killing enemies. So, middle mouse button for temporal hold. Oh, God! So... that there more I am sorry I did not ask for your permission to do that but I hope it was worth it as promised it seems that I am a piece of a shattered soul judging by my abilities I used to belong to what your kind would call a fall dweller. I have already told you, I need your help to leave this place. And when we are out of here, I will need your help finding the rest of me to make me whole again. I feel I am but a shadow of what I once was. Look for what is left of me whenever you step into the weirdness. I know your kind tends to avoid it, but you do not have to be afraid. I will be your shield against the darkness. I will try to help as much as I can, but I need you to hold up your end of the bargain. Thank you. We shall meet again then. Find the weirdness and look for me within. You know, dramatics that gate was. Hidden secrets. It's a hole to death. Gaps in the floor. It doesn't seem like there is. Ah, quickly. Did I get an amulet? Yes, I did. Increase your magic armor by 50. I don't have any range yet. I could put some stuff in my quick slots, so I think a mana potion would be good there, and those health potions I made. I don't know where it- what does brain fever do? Apply berserk to your weapon, that's interesting. Healing tincture, there we go. I don't know how to access my quick slots. Maybe one, two, three? Creepy little children statues.
Uh, and I remember the first time I played this, how awesome this is just friggin' incredible. I mean, you gotta give it to the uh, the team that designed this. It is it is impressive. It's creepy. It's wondrous. I I just I can't even. I don't know if you can hear my cat. He's he wants attention, but he can't take away from this. Some sort of giant trolls being forced to push this device that does something. Just amazing. Like kudos to this pe these people. They're just real imaginative. You know, when I, you know, dismissively called it grim dark earlier. Um this is how you do grim dark well. Seem to be some sort of zombies up ahead. It's this way. Guard the peace of the world, the working titans, for without them we would not have the power within our walls. All way from Tuathun, only the power of what is underground allows us to reach where weirdness does not. Even when we leave, the titans will not stop working, it is how they are created. Wish with their power, one day we will manage to learn what lies beyond the sea. I'm going to assume this is stuff that uh, the red priests haven't been able to get to because they couldn't use that bridge. Which is fine. Must abandon the vision because what is beyond the sea came to us, and we do not want it. We must leave to defend ourselves. They are coming, the titans will stay. Wonder what's beyond the sea? Is it humans? Some sort of Alright, there just seems to be one zombie. Like a particularly powerful weird spawn. Alright. You got hands. Oh, wow, okay. Ow. All right, well, it's a little less fear fair when you do that, buddy. Um, oh, oh, my God. Hey, more of this. Where is he? OK, the AI is still a little goofy. That's fine. Early access, early access. Don't worry. Um, He's still injured, and hopefully he didn't heal after that, because that would have sucked. All right, let's go. You, you got hands? You got hands? There's a rusty short sword, and he has burning embers, but it is blue. Is mine blue? 14 to 18, so they're both 14 to 18. I can do I can do a wheel with burning embers, which would be amazing. All right, and we will step through this gate. Now I know what's going to happen next. I'm really wondering how uh, the man who rescued us got out of that place. Like, did he have to do the whole beard prophecy as well? The game is very gorgeous. Even like something as mundane as this. Uh, no, there's something down here. Egg. Better than prior, venerable prior. I've taken the liberty of leaving my post at the island assignment to deliver the news. My brothers have taken leave of their senses. Their soul has been poisoned. This is the prophet Kai's teaching? Please look to the appeal. Perhaps heresy is happening on the island asylum. Can I take the staff? I'll take the, take the letter. Is this just a branch? It looks like a staff. I would like a staff. Wizard it up a little bit. Empty barrels. Rest here if I wanted to. I assume that gives me back health. If I remember correctly, I'm supposed to go down there to meet those people. Is that, is that a monster? No. All right. It's a chest over there. I love games that let you just like jump about looking for stuff. Okay, that was a chair. It has the similar, you know, like a chest. It has the same first letter. There is something down here, though. 
worn leather pants and tattered boots. These are light armor and, you know, still on brand, toes out. Worn leather pants, though. Yeah, that's medium armor. I think I have a screenshot of this as my thumbnail for this video. Yeah, this is such nice art direction. Um, maybe I shouldn't rob this altar. I'm going to. I think that's all the secrets here. Yeah, that's down there where I came from. There's a hidden chest somewhere. I don't think I can climb up any further. So let's just go down and we'll meet up with these guys and that can be the end of the video. It's not another secret thing. There she is. Now that we're all here, meet your new comrades, conquer in Syria. Get some rest, people. And prepare for the journey. We're leaving at dusk. Not so fast, brother. I'm not getting near a goddamn boat unless I know where I'm going. Away from here, brother. Isn't that enough? A few wish. But since we're all here and we have some time to kill, it would be nice if you finally explained what the hell's going on. You've helped us leave our cages, great. But even though we're grateful, you owe us an explanation. What do you want from us? To show some damn gratitude for one thing. Caradoc, we weren't born yesterday. No one would risk getting into trouble with the priests for nothing. Why did you save us? I need you to kill King Arthur. You're insane. He's insane. The King Arthur that has already been dead for 600 years, King Arthur. Precisely. But he's dead. You probably wouldn't have heard about it among the tribes, little picked. But every single time things go down the shitter on this island, a bunch of cowards in Camelot bring our once and future king back from the dead. It's happened before. It will happen again. And soon. What a load of... <sighs> ah, fine. Have it your way. Let's say I believe you. You can't be serious. He believes that. There's no point in arguing with a madman, but that still doesn't explain why you saved us, Canadoc. I wish I knew why I was ordered to save you three specifically. Personally, I don't see the appeal, but I don't question my orders, and if you get on my boat, you won't question mine. Understood? Now get some rest. The tide's not right just yet, but it will break and start working in our favor by dusk. Fine. But where are we going, exactly? To the Horns of the South. Nice. A bunch of glorified fishermen who hate my paper. Why would we stop there? Do they teach you, Del Reader, anything? To take the Excalibur, obviously. Obviously. He's truly insane. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Now pin these emblems to your clothes. They will grant you free passage to the Horns. And get some sleep. You all look like you're about to keel over, and we have a long journey ahead of us. Talk to these guys. You're right there, Pop. Ready to kill a king. It helped with your wounds. Hell no. I ain't letting anyone touch me unless I'm in a brothel. Ah, shite. Just remembered they don't have any of those in the horns. And I thought this day couldn't get any worse. Anyway, worry about yourself. Or the last with the horns. I'll live. That you will, Pop. That you will. I have a bad feeling about all this. I wish there was some other way of getting off this cursed island.
I trust he won't kill us until he gets what he wants. But what he wants is... Well, you heard him. It's pure insanity. So we're in the hands of either a madman or a liar. And I'm not sure which one is worse. Because someone ordered him to. That's what worries me the most. Think about it. He helped us escape, and nobody even tried to stop him. He just came and went as he pleased. His employers must be some powerful people, and when powerful people take an interest in you, it never ends well. It might be for the best. Something tells me we'll all need our strength. I don't want to ask her about her horns, because that seems deeply personal. Decided to trust Kadok, at least for now, you've embarked on a journey towards the Horns of the South, but as soon as you found yourself at sea, black clouds gathered over your heads, like tangible proof that there must be some curse on you. Soon the wind was howling, and the gargantuan waves were towering over you, you found yourselves in the heart of a storm. This should be narrated. The only thing you remember is the deafening roar of cracking wood, and then darkness. You open your eyes, you are alive. Oh, we've been shipwrecked as well. It's a little cliche, uh, especially after waking up in a prison, but that's fine. And here we are. Grant you safe passage to the Horns of the South. Is a quest marker up there, several meters, so 529 meters away. But I think this is a good place to holy crap. Oh, oh my god, that's so awesome. Really just that, huh? Well, it looks weird up there. That's probably part of the weird. But oh man, that looks so awesome. All right. Well, as I was saying, this is a this is a good place to call it. So, yeah, I've been No More Worlds. Thanks so much for joining me, and hopefully nothing just swoops down and stabs me. And I, I really am interested in continuing this. Uh, there's probably a town over there. Um, this has been Tainted Grail: The Fall of Avalon. I really like the creative direction. Voice acting is pretty good. Still in early access, so there's some bugs. The AI could certainly use some work, but. Um, you know, you can just chop it up to thing, uh, chalk it up to things being kind of weird and strange in this mystical Celtic land. So, uh, thanks for joining me, and bye for now.